welcome to another video! Today, as you can tell from the title of this video, I'm doing something that's quite long overdue. Um, a few months ago, literally like months ago, <laughs> um, I hit a thousand subscribers and did a little video saying thank you so much to all of you and asking if anyone wanted me to do a Q&A and if so to leave questions in the comment section of that video. I then forgot that I said that. <laughs> And I'm only now reading those questions and about to film the answers to them. So sorry that this has taken me so long and it kind of just slipped my mind. I am still ever so grateful for every single one of you that are here, that watch my videos, that press subscribe, that like and comment and engage and have become friends. I love you all an awful lot and thank you for being here with me. Anyway. <laughs> I won't repeat everything I said in that video about being blabby and thank you, but I still do appreciate all of you. So yeah, I'm gonna go through those comments now and answer them questions, so sorry it took so long, but here we go. Alright, I'll just start from the top and work my way down, so let's go. The first question is from the Faye Reader and she asked, at what age did you start getting into reading? Um, I think I've spoken about this before, but I've always been a reader. There wasn't a specific age that I just started getting into reading. Pretty much as soon as I could read, I did read. I was a big reader in primary school, high school, college, to now. Like, there hasn't really been an age where I haven't been into it. Sure, there have been periods of, like, slumpiness, like, when I was doing my A-levels and stuff, when I didn't really have so much time to be into my reading. And there was a big period of my time where I, I was kind of in a dark place at that point anyway, when I didn't read much. Pretty much I've always been into reading, there wasn't an age that started it. The next question is from Maria Skaya, sorry if I said that wrong, and she's asked what are some of your all-time favourite fantasy series? For that I have to say the A Court of Thorns and Roses trilogy, I love that. The Southern Reach trilogy, I love that. I've very recently fallen in love with the Darker Shades of Magic trilogy, so that. And there are probably more. I, I love most fantasy <laughs> series. I am a big fantasy lover, but I would say they are currently probably my top three series. She's also asked, what are some of your ultimate OTPs? I am Face and Trash, I am Bluesy Trash, so Fair and Resand, Blue and Gansey, Kel and Lila, do they have a ship name? I don't know. Trash for them as well. They're probably my top three OTPs as of right now, but I'm sure I'll get into more. Um, and her last question is, what drinks or snacks do you like to have when reading? I don't eat and read at the same time, I don't really snack and read ever, but as for drinks, um, you can't see that, can you? I drink Monster pretty much constantly. If not monster, then probably tea. I like an English breakfast tea, none of this fancy stuff. Next we have a question from Beautiful Pages. Um, which country would you like to visit? I really want to visit Canada, I really want to visit New Zealand, and I really want to visit Norway. They're probably my top three. Um, and my favourite place in the world. I haven't seen enough of it to say. Like, I want to see more of it, but I haven't really seen enough to say what my favourite place in the world is. Next up I have a question from Crescent Moon Reads and she has asked what is the most useful thing you have learnt by starting a booktube? I can do more with my time than I realised. <laughs> Before I started it I kind of thought like how am I ever going to have the time to film videos, edit videos, upload videos and have a job and actually read and have a life but I can do more with my time than I thought I could. It just takes some organisation and that is a valuable thing I've learned. I've also got really good at balancing mirrors around room in order to give myself the best possible lighting of the situation. Especially now that we're getting into winter. It's pretty much always dark, so I've got mirrors <laughs> and windows and stuff. I've also learned that valuable skill. Next, I have a question from Jackalee Hunter, and their question is, how old are you and are you in university? What are you studying? I am 20, I am not in university, I am not studying. I was planning on going to uni to study English literature, but I didn't. I kind of got to the point of applying and was like, I don't actually want to do this. So instead, I didn't, and I went out into the world of work 
and I now love my job so I'm very glad that I didn't. Um, my job is sort of exactly what I wanted to do anyway. Um, I'm a marketing coordinator so I don't feel like I missed out by not going to uni because I'm in a good position and I'm grateful for the choice that I made. Next question is from Books and Jams. Has your reading changed since starting your channel? If so, how? Yes, I read an awful lot more now. I feel like if I don't read enough, I haven't got enough to make content on. So I am definitely encouraged to read more regularly. So I get through a lot more books. Um, I've always been into sci-fi fantasy and I still am. My reading tastes haven't changed much, but my habits of like when I read and how often and how quick I read a lot faster now that has definitely changed. It has increased a lot. The next question is from Reads with a Ravenclaw and she has asked uh, what fictional character do you identify with the most? I honestly don't know. I'm not sure if I do identify with many of the fictional characters that I read about because I read about fantasy characters and you know they're all out in the world kicking ass, saving countries and being magical and I, I am none of those things. I suppose I would say I identify physically with Katie Grant from Illuminae because she has pink hair with long roots since she's been out in space. Um, but personality wise that's not something I really know. I'm not sure if there is a character that I identify. Here's my question to you. Is there a character that you think I would identify with or a character that you think I share characteristics with and similarities? Let me know, I would be really interested in knowing if there are any. <laughs> Next question is from Squibble Reads and she has asked, what are some of the books you can't wait to get to during the rest of 2017? There isn't a lot of 2017 left now, but I really want to get to um, One Dark Throne, Fireblood, um, a Conjuring of Light by Victoria Schwab, I really want to get to that. Um, the Name of the Wind I would like to get through before Christmas. Um, there are a, a lot. Um, I'm being quite ambitious, I think, with how much I want to read before the end of the year. Um, I did say I wanted to finish the Throne of Glass series before the end of the year, but in all realistic perspective, I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> Uh, next I have a few questions from Nikki Reads. Her first one is, what are your reading plans for the rest of the year? I've kind of just covered that, like I have a lot of goals and not enough time to fulfil them in, but my plans I suppose are read as much as I can in as little time. I have a, um, the week of Christmas off work so I might try and like pack in a lot of reading then. Like I've got a whole week with nothing to do but Christmas. So we'll see what happens there. <laughs> Her next question is, I have a series I would love to start, but they're not complete yet. Do you wait for a series to be complete before reading or read them as you please? I definitely read as I please. Even if a whole series is out and I have the whole series sitting on my shelf, I tend to not like bulk read the whole lot. I will read one and then flit off to other things and come back to it. I often feel like if I read a whole series back to back in one go I'm wasting it, like I'm not savouring it the way it should be. So I tend to wait between books even if I have them all anyway. So yeah I, I just read as I please. My next question is from Barbara Edwards, how many books do you own? Um, I'm not gonna sit and count them all but I believe last time I counted it was a about 170-ish. My next question is from Brittany Reads and she has said, do you have any goals for your channel, big or small, to keep up with my schedule? Possibly actually post more. Um, I know I have mentioned that October is the time where I get overly ambitious anyway, so saying that in October is probably not something I'm gonna stick to, but I would like to make more content and I would like to make more original content. Like, I feel like I do a lot of book babbles and wrap-ups, hauls, etc. Um, I just really, really do struggle with making any sort of original idea. That would be a nice goal, to make more of my own content that isn't generic. Do you know what I mean? Um, where do you like to buy your candles is her other question. <laughs> Burning fiction. <laughs> Next I have a few questions from Mum's book collection. Uh, her first one is, what pointers would you give for a newbie booktuber? Again, I think I might have had this question before, but um, just do it. 
your first video you will look back on and be embarrassed about but just do it and get into it upload regularly get yourself a sort of schedule upload once twice a week be interactive with people make friends that is the best way to get yourself involved in the community but i don't feel like i'm very qualified to give tips to people because i'm still diddy myself but that's what i would suggest <laughs> um her second question is what was the worst video you've recorded i've actually recorded a few videos um and then put them onto my laptop looked back at the footage and gone nope and deleted them so those ones I'm not gonna tell you what they are because I don't plan on refilming them just not happening in terms of the worst video I think I've put up probably my first couple of videos I think were terrible so my booktube newbie tag I don't know what's going on in my booktube newbie tag but I've got like a strange accent <laughs> I think it was the um, camera nerves. I kind of really enunciated everything I was saying and put on this strange, incredibly British accent. And I know I have one anyway, but I didn't need to go that far. Do you know what I mean? Uh, question number three from Mum's Bookish Collection is, what was your favorite book from 2016? A Court of Mist and Fury. Then I have some questions from Kayla. Her first question is your favourite fictional crush? We all have many I know, but pick one. Do I go with Reese or Gansey? Reese or Gansey? Reese or Gansey? I can't pick. I'm sorry. I cannot pick. <laughs> Her second question is if your favourite author was sitting across a room from you right now, what would you say to them? Hi, can you sign my books please? <laughs> I'm not one for saying anything too quirky to people. I would probably just be quite practical and say, hi, I'm a big fan, pleasure to meet you. Would you mind signing my books? Can I have a picture? That would probably be my approach. <laughs> um, question number three from Kayla. What is one book that you never want to read? There are a lot of books I never want to read. Most of them are contemporaries, but the first one that pops to my head right now is Anna and the French Kiss. I don't even know who that's by but I never plan on reading that along with all of the other ones by that person and a lot of fluffy contemporaries, just not my thing. And Kayla's fourth question, if you could be in any fictional world, which would it be and what would your role be in said world? Also not our own world from a contemporary, duh. Um, I would hands down want to be in Red London from the Shades of Magic series trilogy thing. I've only read the first two so I don't know what happens to that world in the last one but Red London seems like the most amazing place to be and I would really just want to be a member of like the crowd. <laughs> like I wouldn't want any big role in the world, I would just want to be there. So just a general member of the public in said world. That is what I would want my role to be. And fifth question from Kayla. Reread, rewrite, and burn, Annihilation, A Court of Mist and Fury, and Raw. Um, I think she was trying to make this difficult, but it's not. I would reread A Court of Mist and Fury because that book is perfect and, well, it's not perfect, nothing's perfect, but I love it and wouldn't want to touch it. I would rewrite Annihilation because I think there are things, although I love that book, don't get me wrong, I think there are things that could be done in a different way and would be like I would build on things in that one and then I would burn raw because I don't love that anywhere near as much as the other two. <laughs> Thanks Kayla for all of those. My next question is from Francesca Mulvey and she said what was the first small text book you read? Like 10 or 12 size font and what did you think of it and have you reread it since? Honestly I could not tell you what my first small fonted book was. Um I don't know what size font these books were, but the Rainbow Magic series, was that maybe a size 12 font? I can't remember and I don't still have them. Like when I read them I didn't think about font size. So I honestly don't know, but maybe them. Maybe the series of Unfortunate Events series? What size font is that? I don't know. But I haven't reread either of those either, so there you go. Um, and then my last questions come from Elise and her books. And her first one is, how did you pick the name Maurice for your lizard? Maurice's name was picked by myself and a friend of mine from college. Um, where we actually don't talk much anymore at all. But um, we, I wanted, I wanted a lizard anyway. 
and she said how adorable would a little lizard look with a top hat and a monocle and you'd need to give him a really fancy name. So Maurice's name came from envisioning him with a top hat and a monocle and trying to think of a fancy name for him. That is how Maurice came to be Maurice. Can you imagine him with a top hat and a monocle though? Like how cute would that be? Um, and her next question is obviously you've told us about Jake but if you could date a fictional character just for a day who would it be? Reese and Organzi. Reese and Organzi. I can't pick between Reese and Ganzi. They are like my faves. Um, what's a bugbear of yours when it comes to books? I'm not sure if you mean like physically or like in the writing. Physically, dog earing pages. I hate it when people do that. Um, within the writing, I absolutely despise like insta love i know everyone says it but it really is the worst like love at first sight in books is awful also oh no i hate this one more i think when a girl is like broken and falling in love saves her because that is not how the world works and i think that is a terrible thing to teach people if people if someone themselves is like broken and they read a book where falling in love with someone fixes all of their problems that's gonna put some like false hope into them because falling in love does not fix everything and I think working on yourself and falling in love with yourself is the best way to do it and I hate it when books just fuck that up so yeah that probably <laughs> Um, and there we have it. That is all of my questions. Thank you very much. Sorry this is so late, but um, I've enjoyed answering your questions anyway, so I hope you have enjoyed watching. If you have anything else that anyone wants to ask me, drop me questions down below. I'm pretty much an open book and will answer anything, so go for it down there. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Again, thank you so much to all of you for subscribing and being here and, you know, just being with me. I love it and I love you all. Um, if you aren't subscribed and fancy subscribing, I'm always eternally grateful for that, as you can probably tell. Um, I upload every Sunday and Wednesday and some odd days in between if I'm feeling generous and I will see you next time. Bye!